Oh, hello. Yes, am I through to Jehovah's Witnesses, um, South Springfield Congregation? That is correct. You are. Ah, uh, great. Thank you. Um, I was wondering if it's possible to help me, please. I've spoken to Jehovah's Witnesses at the carts. I've asked some questions. I'm currently reading Enjoy Life Forever, and I've been on JW.org, and I've watched a lot of episodes of JW Broadcasting. I've noticed that they refer to the Watchtower Society as the truth constantly. I picked up on that. And you're, in, in your writings, especially the older writings on JW.org, you refer to the watch, it, re, it refers to the Watchtower as the truth. Why is that? Well, in my experience, uh, I, I'd be interested in, the, in your reference. I, I, don't, I don't really uh, remember that. We consider the Bible to be the truth. So I, I don't recall reading anywhere that the Watchtower is the truth. Well, I mean, I've been asked the question, are you in the truth? When I approached the cart a little while ago, I was asked, oh, are you a brother? Are you in the truth? And I said, oh, what's the truth? Because I thought the truth in the Bible was the person of Jesus Christ. But they said, no, it's 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 being baptized and being committed to the Watchtower organization. The teachings of the Watchtower are the truth. Well, that's a mistake if they said that. Um, our view is Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Because he said it himself. Uh, I so believe sorry, that, if, if John fourteen six. But but why did Jehovah's Witnesses ask, "Are you in the truth?" Because they're they're really saying, "Are you a practicing Jehovah's Witness?" Aren't they? They're saying that the Watched Our Society is the truth. Um, so I just told you that I don't think that that's the case. <clears throat> so right. I don't agree with the assertion. But what I can say is everywhere we go, when we meet Jehovah's Witnesses, we know that they have a strong commitment to Christian morality and ethics and agape love. And so there's an element of trust. So perhaps the better thing to have asked mm -hmm. would be more direct. But, um, yeah, so is there any other way I can help you? Yes, thank you. Um, in Enjoy Life Forever, Lesson 8 puzzled me. You can be Jehovah's friend. I don't know if you're familiar with that chapter, Lesson 8 on page 33. Um, not by page number, but go ahead. Um, I'll just read the introductory paragraph, if I might, please. It's, it's not very long. Jehovah wants you to know him better. Why? He hopes that the more you learn about his personality, his ways and his purpose, the more you will want to be his friend. Can you really be God's friend? What can you do to become his friend? The Bible answers those questions and reveals why friendship with Jehovah is the most important relationship you can have. The book seems to be saying that we, we can become friends of Jehovah today. I mean, have I got that right? I think that's correct. For instance, we have the example of Jehovah himself referring to Abraham, my friend. Um, that's not today. Abraham was Old Testament, about 2,000 years before Christ's birth. Um, what, uh, I... But I, what I would argue, if we're, if, if, what I would say is yep. that Jehovah does not change. So if a human can be referred to as a friend by him, and Abraham was an imperfect man, and it seems logical that that would be the case going forward. And I would say that he was certainly um, friends with um, Jesus' disciples as they uh, grew in, you know, copying and becoming like the Christ. Um, where, where are you located, sir? Um, I'm in the UK. I'm, I'm situated in Plymouth. I'm about half an hour's walk from the Pilgrim Steps. Ah, may I ask a, just a, a brief question? Yep. Why are you calling South Springfield in Virginia? Um, well, I've got a Skype account. So um, um, I, I try to leave a message at my local Kingdom Hall and no one gets back to me. 
So that's oh, why wow. I thought I'd go to JW.org in, in, in America and try an American congregation. I see. I see. Okay. Um, well, the, um, thanks very much for the call. Well, ho hold on. If I could just respond, please. Um, Abraham was told to, by God to offer his son. If you use the logic that you've just um, used, <laughs> then we should be offering um, burnt offerings today. We should build altars and we should uh, offer our son on the altar. And when God stays our hand, offer a ram in its place. If, as you argue, God doesn't no. change, I, I think the the uh, verse you so alluded to in Malachi. I never said that. Right. I never said that. Right. Well, anything I say beg that logic. Okay. So um, those things do not follow one another. It sounds to me like you would like to make a point rather than ask questions. Is there a point you'd like to make? Yeah. Where in the New Testament? Because I believe you cannot be a friend of God today. I believe it's impossible. After Christ's death, burial and resurrection, everyone who comes to faith comes to faith, Romans 8, 40 to 16, as a child of God, as a son of God. There are no friends of God today. Abraham was a friend of God. It's referred to in the past tense, not present tense, because Abraham lived 2,000 okay. years before Christ. Could you show me a Bible verse where people after Christ's death, burial and resurrection come to faith as a friend of God or as a friend of Jehovah or, or as the word friend is used in some sense of somebody who comes to faith. So uh, what I could say, and we'll probably end the conversation after this, is that Christ, nearing his uh, death and resurrection, said, you are my friend. Yes, that's John 15, oh. but you haven't listened to me. I said after Christ's death, burial and resurrection. John 15 is before Christ's death, burial and resurrection. When Christ died, the new covenant came into effect. And when the new covenant came into effect, there were no more friends of God. Can you show me a verse after, not before, not Abraham, not John 15. Can you show me a verse where, after Christ's death, burial and resurrection, people come to faith as a friend of God or a friend of Jehovah or a friend of Jesus? Could you show me that from the scripture, please? I have a feeling that this will not be a productive conversation, so I wish you well, sir. And Why I'm is going that? To sign off so I can, I can finish my dinner. Thank you. Would Good you time. rather finish your dinner than speak to me about the Bible? What's more important, mm -hmm. your dinner or the... Or the he's, he's hung up. Oh, well. South Springfield Congregation in Virginia. I wonder if the um, Simpsons are his neighbours. <laughs>